Hi, Raylene Froman, the Roman Froman here. One of the reasons that I made this video today on poor painting is because it's a cheap, economical way for the whole family to have some fun. It doesn't take a lot of money, and you can see in the supply list that you can find those items um, at your local hobby store, dollar store, Walmart, discount store um, for pretty economical prices. You can buy the canvases at the dollar store, you can buy the paints at Walmart for 50 cents a piece, or you can, you know, pick up <clears throat> inexpensive brushes here and there. The pouring medium is probably the one thing that you need to find at either Walmart or your hobby store. Um, the big bar bottle that I got was, <clears throat> I think, less than $10, um, and I've used it for several projects and maybe only used about a quarter or a third of the bottle. So pretty economical to do. Um, be sure and sign your work. It's important that your masterpiece uh, show the person's creativity and have fun. Hi, can't wait to get started today. We're gonna do some pour painting. I'm gonna put on my apron here so I don't get my shirt all covered with paint. I'm a little messy. Messy Bessie as they say, but that's what makes it fun. All right, we're starting to mix up some colors here. Got a little blue going. It's 50% of the blue acrylic paint and then I used 50% of the pouring medium. Then you just stir it till the color starts to get back to your original color, and then it has some pourability. I don't know if that's a word, but we're going to use it um, so that it kind of rolls off your stick. Um, two colors that you probably use a lot are black and white in addition to maybe three colors for the, uh, for the day. So I'm going to mix up some black and white. and pour some medium in there. Some black. And then my favorite color is purple, as you probably noticed from some of the ones that I did the other day. All right, you can wear gloves if you want. I don't know, I figure it washes out eventually. <clears throat> so I have a little purple. As you can see purple. It's my favorite color with the background of my studio here. It's very nice. So kind of rolls off your stick. <clears throat> All right, and then we're gonna try a new technique today too. Um, I want to try one with the chains that I saw and uh, try and make kind of a tree effect. This one has kind of, I uh, have a couple of yellows here. This one's a little darker and has some gold tones in it. I really like color. I like bright colors. You can use muted colors, bright colors, whatever you want to do um, and change your background accordingly. All right, so I'm going to mix up a few of these, um, and then we're just going to pour them in our little measuring cup. And the important thing is just to kind of layer it to get several different layers. I'm going to mix up a little more white here. Obviously, I use my white a lot, and that's why. So as I mentioned, the acrylic paints, oops, that might be a good reason to wear gloves and keep it on my tablet here. But um, you can kind of cover your kind of cover your canvas here with a little bit of white to 
or black if you want a darker background like I did on the one that I showed you earlier to kind of help it flow around a bit. It doesn't have to be real neat. <clears throat> All right, and then the, then just start to kind of layer your colors. So I got some blue going, Maybe some bright yellow. And you don't have to have a lot of colors, just um, they will meld and make additional colors as well. Maybe a little green today. Go with some different colors. And just keep your layers going. bit of black. Just getting the center there. All right. Now let's see what we got here. I'm going to bring my rack over here to pour and catch some of my drippings so I don't make as big a mess as I usually do. <clears throat> and this is the fun part, and there's just no way wrong way to do it. Just kind of pour it out. Pour it out in a design, or you can pour it right in the center. Measuring cup. Now we can just, if you can see that, just kind of pour it around to where it fills the canvas and creates a design that you enjoy. And it can fill the whole thing. Some people like it when it drips off the edge and incorporate that into their painting. Um, some like just to kind of center it and <clears throat> make a design in the middle. Um, So here's another little trick. Um, I'm just placing these on paper trays. You could use newspaper or an old tray lined with cellophane or plastic wrap. Um, and then I have a uh, little baking rack, an old baking rack from the dollar store. I think they were two for a dollar. And I just place them on my cup so that I can catch my drips in this pan. Um, you know, you could line it with newspaper and throw your drippings away. I like to take my drippings and use them to um, enhance some paper for my card making. So, and then I just have a old tile board um, to use for my work surface. I've been wanting to try this chain one. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to give it a shot. So I just have some broken pieces of chain here. And the thought is that you layer the chains and then you pull them up. Um, and when I first saw this technique, I thought, oh, wouldn't that make a great Christmas tree? So um, it may or may not turn out that way. We'll try and figure that out. So I've got my paint with medium here. I'm just going to try and put a thin line. with my chain and then layer a couple of different colors. So I've got some kind of yellow green here. Let's try and put that there. With some chain and then maybe some blue. Maybe it's a blue spruce. So this is the first time I'm trying that. We'll see what this looks like. And then, you know, they put a little paint on top of the chain. That might be more than a little bit, but that's okay. Some yellow here. And then quite a bit of green. All right, maybe I'll put a little bit of white around the edge. Let's 
so. All right, the moment of truth. So I'm gonna take this or maybe take the bottom of a paintbrush. I'm just gonna pull this chain up to the top. 